Uh, good morning. Good morning everyone. Naayos ko lang. Baka kasi hindi na naman naka-record. Okay, so we will now proceed to your major classification. So, always remember, uh, since there are no example of a uh, quarrel on your book, so yun na muna ang inuna kong binigay. So, always remember that under major classification, this is similar to the previous classification like the sub-secondary classification. That if the given is whirl, you are just going to copy the symbol. So, like for plain whirl, meron siyang symbol na meeting. And then central pocket loop which is, out, which is uh, outer and then you are just going to copy M over O. So, that will be the major classification. So, loops are ridge counted and whirls are ridge trace. And then major classification is written on the leftmost part of the classification line before the primary classification. The left thumb is counted first using table A. And then the whirl ridge trace is automatically written in a symbol on the frame's right upper corner. So yun yung binigay kong example. Yan, yan nakikita nyo sa screen. And then when the given is tinted arc, so automatic yun. Wala kayong major classification. There's no need for you to put a dash since that is already understood that uh, the major classification is tented arc and plain arc. Okay? So, under major classification, we have two tables that is being used. So, under table A, 1 to 11 is small. 12 to 16 is medium, 17 or more is large. And then table B, 1 to 17 is small, 18 to 22 is me, uh, medium, and then 23 and above is large. Okay, so where are we going to use this if the given is Rajal loop and ulnar loop? Okay, so example, so just imagine that this is, I will just go on with the thumb only since major classification is uh, apply only on your thumb. So if the given is 18 over 16, okay, so what table are we going to use? So automatic, we are just going to use table A. Why? Because... The reach count for left thumb is 16. It's not 17 or more. So that we are going to use table B for right hand. Always remember again that table B is only used in your right thumb if the given or if the if the reach count of your left thumb has 17 or more. So since this is 16, all of these fingers all of your uh, here is table A. So, 18 is large and then 16 is medium. Okay na tayo. How about if the given is 17? So, remember, yan yung sagot kanina. Large over meeting. Okay, now we will answer this. How about this? Since this is 17, I told you that there is a rule on table B. That use table B if the given, if the reach count of your thumb is 17 or more. So since it is 17 or more, so 18 is medium. Your left thumb always table A. So 17 is large. But, ito sa right thumb, sa table B siya. Okay na tayo. Okay, again. How about if this is 16, uh, 19? Still, use table B for your right thumb. So, 18 is medium. Your left thumb is 19. So, this is large at the same time. How about if the given is 11 over, ele uh, over 12? 
Okay, so we will use table E. Okay, the answer there is small over medium. Okay, so that is the major classification. So, yung buo na lang ang gagawin ko. Last example. Malapit na kayong matapos. Konting-konti na lang. Buti na lang. Every day tayong nag -mean -mean. Kasi, after one week, exam na ninyo. Okay? FPC. If you have question, you are free to have your clarification queries on your on the link that I will be sending you. So example here is then kaya pag hindi pa ninyo alam yung sub secondary ay nako. Kahit na alam na alam na ninyo ang major classification if you cannot follow that then it's useless. Uh, 11 to, ah. And then, here. Okay? So, we will answer first. Sige, para hindi kayo mahilo, major classification muna. Since, this is 19, so sa right thumb natin, we will use table B. So, this is medium. 19 is large. Okay, now, proceed to yung primary classification. Primary classification. Walang world. So, 1. 1 plus 1. 2. Capital letter. Small letter. Dash. R. P. How about here? Uh... Dash, dash, A. Do not forget your thumb. Is this Rajal? No. So, never mind. Okay, we will proceed to your sub-secondary classification. Uh, 11 is outer. 19 is outer. 11 is inner. 10 is outer. 19 is outer. Central packet loop, it has already a symbol. Just copy so, ganyan ang sagot nyo from primary to major classification. We still have two classification left. Okay? So, that's for today, ladies and gentlemen. And then, God bless everyone. Thank you very much. And have a blessed, blessed day.